Lily Singh here, and I'm gonna show you my quick 10 minute makeup routine that I'm kind of good at. First thing that I am going to do is tie my hair back because we have a lot of it. So the first step is I'm going to moisturize my face. Now I won't lie, as a child, as a kid, I did not know the importance of SPF. I was one of those stubborn kids that was like, nothing can faze me. As an adult, I've learned this is a rather important thing. So I use Olay Regenerous Whip with SPF. I put it on every single day. It is great under makeup. I use this product as opposed to other products because I feel like sometimes, uh, Moisturizers can feel oily under makeup. I definitely do this dot process because why not have fun? Put that in, get the SPF. The first product I use is um, from Live Tinted. It is a color corrector stick. Um, I love it because it's supposed to be especially good for people with my skin color. I literally just color my face orange, mad Oompa Loompa styles wherever I'm darker or blemishing. And for me, that is always here. Right there, all the spots. And literally, this is when I FaceTime my mom and scare her because I think this is my favorite part. We're gonna do Tarte. It's, this is my concealer, it's nice and fancy. So I literally just dab over wherever I put orange, right under there. My eyes, if you're like me, are just genetically dark underneath. I even, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, I put a little bit here, again, dark eyes and hit the vampire spots, hit the vampire spots, little goatee right there. So I literally just cover it. I'm using this brush. I use this brush for most of my skin coverage and I literally just like kind of make the orange disappear. But this kind of helps color correct my skin and makes those gray darker spots a little bit easier to cover. I think I first started experimenting with makeup um, probably truthfully towards later on in high school, which I feel like is pretty late. But I think I started experimenting because of like, I don't know, singers I saw and like Bollywood actresses and people on TV. And I was like, oh, especially in Bollywood, actresses wake up in scenes looking beautiful. And no matter what happens, they look beautiful. And I'm like, oh my God, I wanna, I wanna look like that. Since then, I have really evolved with my relationship with makeup. I don't necessarily associate makeup with beauty. However, I do associate it with just like, a mood or a journey or an art and also real talk to look awake. Then I'm gonna to go to my foundation. I use Fenty. I have to tell you having my skin tone, finding a foundation that matched my face has been a constant struggle. For so many years of my life, I had to combine different colors and different products together until Fenty came about. So I literally put it everywhere, everywhere, little by little. So when I do my own makeup for YouTube videos or for anything else in life, it's it's quite a quick process and the steps are very limited. Um, and I do much more of a natural look. You know, I don't, on my everyday basis, I don't wear eyeliner. Um, I don't wear eyeshadow for the most part unless I'm going out, but that's canceled. So for my show though, it's a much longer process. My makeup artist, Ashley, knows how to use all the things I don't know how to use. She would put in highlighter, she would contour my face, she would do all those things. Also, I would I would say that I don't know, I'm not great at making my makeup look soft, to be honest. Um, and my makeup artist is really good at making my makeup softer. So you'll notice that on my show, I look a little different, but we do what we can. Honestly, we do what we can. Pro tip, another one of my comments I get on YouTube a lot is, why does your neck not match? Fine, whatever. So now I also blended my neck um, like such, just like this, so that 100% of the time, my t-shirt will get color on of it. That's just, that's just, that's just what it is. Um, that's why we wear white t-shirts, never. I know I said I don't use eyeshadow, and that I meant on my lids, but there is something I do consistently do, and I put a little bit of white a little spot of white in my inner corner just to make my eyes pop a little bit. Again, to look awake. I am using Eyes of India eyeshadow palette from um, Billy Beauties. Going back to Indian cinema and how influential it was to me, a lot of Indian makeup has emphasis on eyes, especially the under eye, we would call it gajal. But under, the kind of just black gajal on the, on the underwater line is a big thing. And that's something I kind of struggled with growing up because I could never find one that would stay. If I found one from India that would stay, I couldn't get it to come off. So it was a huge struggle in general. Um, but this white shadow, I'm literally just gonna put in the corner of my eye, just like that, a little dab. 
cap off. And I feel like this gives me a nice pop of color. After that, I'm gonna fill in my brow brows. Now, this is a constant struggle for me, especially <laughs> during quarantine. Um, my eyebrows getting even 50-50 chance, but I use a little comb brush right here to comb them. I've learned up and out is the key. I've learned this from Priyanka Chopra. She taught me on set one day when I went up to her and I said, how are your eyebrows perfect? And she said, comb up. And I was like, ta-da. And I'm using um, Smashbox. I'm using their eye eyebrow palette, I believe is what it is, specifically for eyebrows. Um, combining two colors, kind of a darker one and a little bit of a lighter one. I generally like my brows a little bit more on the bushy side. I know we've come very full circle for me being a kid because as a kid I was like, thin arc eyebrows. But you'll notice that I leave my eyebrows pretty bushy in the corners so that the right angle it could be a unibrow. I don't know, that's my, that's my vibe. I am going to curl some lashes. So I'm going to use my Revlon eyelash curler. On my show, if I'm turning into Lily, which is an interesting sentence because <laughs> I turn into many people on my show, um, but I'm turning into Lily generally I a lot, an hour and a half for makeup. It could be done in an hour, but generally we like to a lot an hour and a half. Um, my hair and makeup get done at the same time as tag team. If I'm turning into a character, depending on who the character is, it takes different time. Uh, I've turned into Dr. Fauci, that took two hours. I've turned into um, Drake, that took two and a half hours. So it really depends who I'm becoming, but me, an hour and a half. I'm going to use Smashbox's Super Fan, which is actually my mascara collaboration with them. Um, and I love it because the applicator is relatively small and I'm not great when the applicator is huge because I 100% of the time poke myself in the eye. Uh, so I'm just gonna start outwards, fan up. Ooh, yeah. Yes. And if I had to pick one makeup product in my life that I couldn't live without, it would be mascara. I feel like mascara is the only reason people think I'm awake. Otherwise, 100% of the time, people would be like, are you okay? This is the difference between someone coming up to me and saying, you look tired or not. In terms of makeup trends I've tried by myself, I use the word trend lightly because I feel like what I'm calling a trend is really just a skill set, to be honest. I have tried to put lashes on myself. It has not gone well. I have tried to do a smoky eye. My dad literally said to me, why do you look like a raccoon? So I, I think the most I've experimented is different types of winged liner. Um, so there we go, we got my mascara on. I'm feeling pretty good. We're almost done here. It's so easy, it's so easy. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on some blush. I also use Smashbox for this. Clearly, I use it a lot. This is the color right here. I use my little brush, do a little dab. And if this is not correct, someone roast me in the comments. I'm sure you will anyways. Mm-hmm. Okay, can't see that, so I'm just gonna go heavier. Okay, great, boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom! Then I use Summer Fridays Lip Gloss. But I put a little bit on my lips. In my everyday makeup, I don't wear lipstick. I just wear a little bit of gloss. And I love this one because it stays glossy for a really long time without feeling sticky for a really long time. Uh, which I love and like I said, it's also dessert. So that is my Summer Fridays lip gloss. Ooh, we cute! I finish up with my Olay Mist. There's different types. I'm using the Hydration Essence. A few sprays. Let it sit. <laughs> Take out our clips. Are you ready for this? Here we go. And we are ready for the day. Boom, boom, pow. So that's my extent of knowledge of makeup. But I think it's very attainable. And I think it's, uh, I think it looks cute. Alora, thank you so much for having me. My name is Lily Singh and this was my 10 minute beauty routine. I hope it helped you and you learned some cool stuff or at least learned what not to do.